Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you my experience with using a off-brand Amazon dupe for the Dyson hair dryer. I love it. I've gotten my hair used um, by a Dyson hair dryer multiple times at the salon and I truly don't see a difference at all. And this was a fraction of the price. So we're just going to get right into it and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna be spraying on my hair is a Kerastase uh, Frizz Control. This is the hair dryer that I'll be using today in this video. This is the box it came in. Aesthetics are everything, and I loved the box. It was super cute. It did not come with a carrying case. The shirt I'll be wearing today is from Shein. I say Shein, some people say Shein. I wore it out and everyone actually complimented on it so I decided to link it here for you guys in the bio as well as the Kerastase spray and the hair dryer. So I'm actually figuring out this hair dryer as well as using it for the first time so bear with me if you see me looking sort of confused. I've never actually used one of these. I've always had like a $20 Revlon like volumizer hair dryer or regular hair dryer. Um, I am using the wet brush right now just running through the bottom layer of my hair. My hair is very brittle right now. Don't really understand what's going on with it. Maybe some hormonal situation, but we are trying to get that thickened back up. This hair dryer is going to have heat and cold, which I love. I can switch it back and forth anytime I choose. Most of the hair drying I do is cold air and then on the very top layer and one pass over my whole head on the end. I'll do warm just to lay everything down. But we're just gonna go through this video and let you guys watch all the little different twists and turns I do. If you have any advice, just put it down in the comments. I'm not a professional. There is no rhyme or reason to this. I just do what I think I'm supposed to do and what usually makes sense for my hair. Um, I try to get volume. I don't put my hair in rollers or anything like that. So this is the best that it's gonna get but I will let you guys enjoy. All right, we're gonna do the last pass on the crown and we're gonna go ahead and take down the top layer. I'm gonna work back around the crown. I just go from back to front. That way I don't really miss any spots. We're gonna um, spray, I'm sorry, not spray, hair dry towards the sky is what I say and keep the volume in my roots. And then near the ends, I'm gonna go down and do the little swoosh. I'm not really sure what you call that. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so So I'm taking this in about inch sections, sometimes a little thicker or a little more thin, just trying to get it done. I'm also kind of in a rush to get ready, so I just wanted to do this as quickly as possible and make sure I didn't forget to video for you guys my first impression 
I'm gonna call this um, Amazon versus Dyson. I know that's probably very incorrect to some people, but to me it's not. This is the first thing I found on Amazon and the price was amazing. So I would much rather buy this than truly spend $500 on a Dyson, unless they wanna sponsor me. Shout out if you want me to review your Dyson, I'll do it. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish blow drying my hair and I'll show you the guys finished product. Remember all the links are in the description below. You can like this video if you did like watching it and give it a thumbs up. That would be so much appreciated. I will definitely be making more videos like this. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So we are done. This is the finished product and I truly am in love. I just got curtain bangs and this worked so well with those curtain bangs. So I hope that you guys enjoy and y'all have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.